Good afternoon, get Opsians. Johnny, thank you again for joining us as our um, producer and for actually like waving at the audience before disappearing into the background again this time so that people could right. like give, give give Johnny like a, like the appropriate round of, round of applause or even if, you see this, right. even if you see All this clap. afterwards, you know, right? Uh, send him some love on Twitter yeah. or whatever for um, enabling us the way he does. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Um, and then also really exciting. Uh, wait, this you're this way. Real, well, now you're this way. I'm not, now I'm over here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, now <you're> over here. <laughs> um, well, I'm pointing at you from my screen. So I think that's correct. Anyway, whatever. I give up. Uh, yeah. Really exciting. Uh, Christian Hernandez has joined back at Red Hat and has rejoined the, the Gidopsian cruise. Um, so as, as we as we explore the galaxy together, he will be returning as co-pilot uh, permanently. I, I basically just kept the seat warm for you. I'm gonna. I'm, I was. I was kind of hoping. <laughs> kind of hoping that like either somebody would just like fall into the role naturally, and I wouldn't have to try to find a co-host, or like maybe yeah. get back. Um, I was really lazy about the whole thing because actually, like going through the process of finding a, a co-host would have been a lot of work, yeah. and I'm. I'm just. I don't put in work. You know me. I'm the laziest person you've ever yes. met. If I can, <laughs> yes. If I can automate it away, I'm automating it away, right? That's right. Like we're we're in the world of automation. Like if I can automate it, like I'm that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So unfortunately, you can't automate that. So <laughs> it takes. I mean, work. I could automate a person, but yeah. like to to what degree of success is yeah. that's 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 the real question there. That's the real question there. We're not we're not seeking to answer that today. Um, quick announcements before we get back into it, other than the fact that Christian is back with us forever and ever and ever. Um. <laughs> It's like uh, uh, what, what do we say? Like the dynamic duo is back back together. That's... Yeah, yeah, we're getting we're getting the band back together, right? Getting, getting, getting the band back together. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Um, <laughs> that that happened. Um, we've been friends for ten years, guys. Like the which is bad yeah, jokes yeah. only between it's us. Just, it's it's only it's only bad jokes now. It's only bad <laughs> jokes. There's not even like the joke, jokes. It's just bad. Yeah, it's like all the good stuff was done all in the beginning. This is just all bad jokes from here on out. Yeah, it's all downhill. Um, so uh, the other thing is uh, we will not be streaming a second time this month. Um, so the, the usual cadence is every other week. Um, so, but in two weeks, I will be taking my children on vacation to Hawaii. Um, and I'm doing that instead. <laughs> so, there and Christian. Go. much uh, Yeah, much better than the surgeries, yeah. <laughs> yeah, much, much, yeah. Originally, I was going to actually be off air for a surgery that's been postponed. So there'll be some sometime uh, earlier next year where I'm off air TBD. Um, but uh, yeah, so Chris, uh, Christian uh, back in the fray, but not so back in the fray yet that uh, he had something uh, prepared. So we're going to let him yeah. uh, work on really planning for next year with me um, in the next few yes. weeks and yeah. bring, bringing getting back to some of our original plan content and 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 kind of realigning the strategy because this is my stream now <laughs> it's not my stream that's now. right <laughs> um, right but like definitely it's open source it's every it's everyone's it's everybody's stream. stream. It's, it's a community stream it's the audience that's right <laughs> so but today today um he actually was going to come back as a guest had he even not rejoined red hat um to yep. go over argo rollouts with us which is um just uh it's it's fairly new feature to argo but not like brand brand new it's been out a couple months now right yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 been out for a while. It's been it it was created by the uh, um, the same folks that did Argo CD uh, to fill a need, right? And so, um, yeah, I, I I can I can get into that. I don't know if you have any other announcements. I can just jump right in. No, um, um and, and apparently, um, uh, I'm gonna hope I say this correctly. Tolga, which thank you for joining, has been waiting oh for this particular stream. Um, yes. So, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> let's just get into it. It's apparently a wish uh, wish list stream item. So let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. awesome. And also, by the way, it, it, I'm wearing the um, the Argo progressing T-shirt. Um, this was actually this was from the folks at Acuity. So thank you for the for the T-shirt. Um, they should actually make the degraded one. I told them I'm gonna publicly shame them. Please make the degraded one because I would totally rock that shirt and. and I, I don't want to be healthy. I don't want to be synced. I want to be degraded. I think, I don't know. You've been in SRE. Um, you know, I've been in operations. It almost feels like you're always running and degraded. So, um, which is why the caffeine comes into play. But yeah, the caffeine comes into play. Um, I'm 
plus, like, there's just so many really, really excellent jokes that could be made. I mean, yeah. there's some good jokes, yeah. but some really excellent jokes that can be made with a degraded shirt. Um, yeah. So I I just really like that. Um, I, do they need to do it for so, the jokes? Yes, for, for the lols. For the if, lols. If anything, right? For the lols, for sure. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, Argo rollouts. So Argo rollouts has become probably like one of my favorite uh, tools as of late. And um, I always find, I always make this the joke about like cloud native architecture and, and GitOps about like, man, I wish I had these tools back when I was doing this stuff. Um, and so, uh, you know, uh, Argo rollouts is like one of those things. And Argo rollouts is really for progressive application delivery um with GitOps, right and so like what does that mean i have like four slides here i don't want to i'm not, I'm more of a, a hacker than than a slider type of person but um i do believe you know kind of just painting a picture is, is really good um if you're using argo cd this looks very familiar right like this is like nine times out of ten when you're explaining about argo cd and GitOps. like this is like the picture you show right like you have git as a source of truth you have argo cd reconciling that on some Kubernetes cluster, right? Um, OpenShift, um, and you're running some sort of um, ingress object. You're running, uh, in this case, you know, OpenShift service mesh versus Istio, but like you can be running an ingress controller like Nginx or traffic or, um, or OpenShift's um, uh, uh, route object, right? That's an ingress object. And so um, that's kind of like the world, right? And so, um, this is a lot of what people do when they first are like implementing Argo CD, right? They're implementing Argo CD, and this is kind of the design they they everyone starts out with. Um, but then as adoption grows, um, you 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 run into issues, especially like in the OpenShift uh, service mesh in the Istio world when you want to do uh, something like a Canary deployment, right? So you have a Canary deployment. Um, and, uh, for, for those who don't know what a canary deployment is, is basically you're, you're releasing another version of your application and, uh, you want to send like some percent of the traffic over to, um, um, to the, the new version, right? The canary, right? And then you, you kind of monitor that, right? So you send out like, for example, like 10% of the traffic, you kind of monitor that. I'm like, okay, like, you know, this is going pretty good. You know, you increase it to 20% monitor traffic and so on and so on. And all of a sudden you're sending hundred percent of the traffic over to the new version and you spin down the other version. Um, that's kind of like, they, they call it canary cause it's like canary in a coal mine, right? Like if there's something yeah, wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we talk yeah. really quickly about the very like, yeah, the, the, the origin that, of the term canary. Yeah. Also the irony that it was when yeah. the canary yeah. stopped singing you should be concerned, but now because of the way we've applied it, it is actually that you're listening. What? You're listening for, for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for, for, for problems or for, um, uh, I guess, bird song, we'll call it, as, as opposed to yeah. the, the reverse. So, um, one, that's ironic. And yeah. two, the origin of this term is so dark. It is. Now that I think about it, right? Like, it's like you have a canary in a coal mine and it stops singing. That means there's gas, right? There's, there's, um, there's gas, you know, in, you know, we, when they're mining coal, there was, there was gas and the bird would die, right? Because the, the canary, um, they obviously, they have like little lungs. They're not as, as, um, uh, tolerant, right. To, uh, some of the toxic gases that would <laughs> that lives underneath the earth. Right. And when the canary died, that means like people would be like, Oh, there's something wrong. Let's get out of the, um, let's get out of the coal mine. Yeah when they stop singing. Yeah. Ironically, this, like you said, like this, the canary deployment is like actually when stuff goes wrong, like when there's a lot of noise, that's when you know something's going wrong. So it's kind of not, doesn't maybe fit perfectly into to the analogy. Um, I do think we need to come yeah. out with like a better terminology though. It's kind of like listening for a bird to die kind of sounds bad. Like me. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Let's uh, 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 action item, Twitter poll. Action item. What 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 should we use to replace the term canary deployments? That's not dark. Yeah, that is not dark. Yes, exactly. So, um, so yeah, so you know, I guess we'll we'll just call it progressive delivery for for the for the for the purposes of of, of this exploration, right? Oh, um, that's perfect. You're doing... wearing the progressing shirt. Look what you did there. Yes, yes. Let's see what I did there. 
that totally was not an accident. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the, so wait, if you're coming from like a service mesh world, um, and, and, and for those who, who are watching, who aren't really doing service mesh, uh, bear with me because this example, um, is really focused on like, if you're doing something like Istio, right? Service mesh. Um, so when doing, when you're using something like Istio, the, the world is very, very dynamic. If you think about it, right? If you're, you're, you're setting up these policies, you're setting up these route rules, you're, you're saying, oh, um, you know, uh, send 10% of the traffic and then you, you, you change the configuration right away. You send 20%, okay, change the configuration again, send 30%. Um, in a GetOps world, that's kind of, um, uh, that's kind of hard to do because um, if you think about it, GetOps is really static with respect to like, there's a source of truth and I'm, I always want to match the source of truth. So there's like a few ways, you know, people do this in a few ways, which is like a number of PRs, right? So like PR, accept the change, observe, PR, accept the change, like, and that could take a while, right? Especially like if you have like approval process and you need multiple people looking at it and it's just, um, it's just hard to do. Another way is to have Argo CD just ignore the differences, right? Um, which isn't isn't completely wrong, but it kind of is not in the spirit of GitOps, right? Like it's like, oh, it, ignore the dynamic aspect of it. Um, and then, or you can just pause reconciliation with Argo CD and then do do your canary rollout and then re-enable it. Um, I will say uh, all of the things you just mentioned I'll have one thing in common, an uncomfortable amount of room for human error, right? And this is yes, something people exactly. hear me say a lot. I'll, I'll say this. There's an uncomfortable amount of room for human error here, right? Like it's like one of my, I, I might as well put it on a t-shirt. Like it's what I say it so yes. frequently. Um, <laughs> we should, we, that should be a t-shirt. Definitely. Yeah, I, I'm going to put it on my, my, I, I, so, so I have a t-shirt store. You can't actually buy the shirts, but I do put things on t-shirts there. <laughs> <laughs> for the giggles um yeah for the lows. I, like i put not your sysadmin on there I've, I've put some other things on there um choose your technical debt wisely is on there i i have the t-shirts yeah. i i wear the t-shirts uh but uh, you can't buy them you can just stare at them anyway uh that's going on there <laughs> that uncomfortable amount of room for human error right and i think yep. uh christian you and i come from similar uh, similar backgrounds in a lot of ways although different um uh we hate that right because we hate dealing with yes. what happens when that error when that error actually it becomes reality um and i i that's i i said this when we spoke live in 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 may at, at uh, GitOps con um right this 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 industry has been very reactive to, yes. to that. it's like we, we, we have figured out ways to orchestrate our way around having to do things by hand or having to do mm -hmm. things with a series of shell scripts right um yes so let's let's i'll let you go back into the removing the ad uncomfortable amount of room for human error aspect yeah. of life and and actually I'm, I'm glad you chimed in because uh the challenge is isn't so much technical as it is like um as it is what i say is it's on layer eight right like if you if for those that know the osi model right like li like there's a layer an, an an unknown layer eight which is the human layer right it's the people <laughs> layer whereas yeah. like there's the, the the issue with like stopping reconciliation and doing a bunch of PRs is is there's it just introduces a, a room for human error right yeah. and so this is what Argo rollouts is supposed to do right and so Argo rollouts really sits in the middle between Argo CD and um, in, in in this case uh, service mesh right Istio and it uh, takes apart it automates a lot of that process for you where you set kind of set like your upward right? Like your um, upward bound and like lower bound sort of like rule sets and Argo rollouts will, will then work with Argo CD to uh, roll out that deployment. Um, and uh, what's really cool about Argo rollouts in, in, in this example, we're, we're, we're doing service mesh, but like in, um, in other, um, it, it works with other, uh, it has other providers, right? You don't have to use Istio. You can use uh, Nginx, for example, or traffic or, um, and there's a PR for OpenShift uh, routes as well. Um, um, so that's also coming in the future, but you know, you don't have it, it doesn't replace any ingresses or in any sort of service mesh, but it takes part in it. Um, 
and it does this with rule sets. And not only does it actually take a part of it and doing the rollout um, um, without having you having to do PRs and stuff like that, but it does it in an automated way where it actually can check um, uh, metrics, right? So it actually hooks into things like Prometheus where it can say, okay, you know, a release 10% of the traffic, uh, do um, do whatever query, Prometheus query, right? Uh, where it's like, okay, you know, check, you know, for 500 errors or check for like uh, latency in, in disk, you know, whatever, right? And if it, and it passes a certain threshold, it'll release another 10%. Checks for, you know, it, it basically, it's that whole, it replaces that, um, the, the, uh, the whole need for you to have any do like a bunch of PRs and a bunch of checking where you can actually codify that. Um, I, I know, um, Hillary, you're like a big, um, big proponent of uh, codifying things, right? Where you don't have to like, you know, you don't want to introduce that human error, right? You you codify it and it's almost like policy based, right? You set your policies um, up to where, okay, like do a progressive rollout, do a blue, either a blue green deployment or do a canary deployment and, um, and check for errors and what errors. Well, like these are the errors where we're going to check anyways with Prometheus, codify that in and it can either roll forward or roll back. Uh, with those errors. So really Argo rollouts kind of sits in there um, as a um, uh, uh, a way to enforce those uh, for you. It's and like so air traffic I, I see control, that... right? Yes. It's like air traffic yep. control, right? You may go, you may, you may not go, you may stop. Actually, I have to cancel your going, right? It's like, it's, it's going to sit there and, yep. and, and I hate to use the term, right? It feels such buzzer. It's going to orchestrate. It's going to, yes, exactly. It's going to orchestrate <laughs> overloaded terms. I mean, we, in an industry, we love overloaded terms. It's awesome. You know? um, we, if, uh, somebody, I was on, I was on the phone with somebody today. Uh-huh. Uh, we were, we were joking around about buzzwords and he's like, man, if you don't like buzzwords, you're in the wrong industry. <laughs> yeah. Wrong industry. Yeah. It's, it's all. We buzz, love buzzwords. Right? buzzwords. We love to invent <laughs> buzzwords and then yeah. use them and abuse them until. Use them and abuse them. Yeah. And then, and then we get mad at them. And then we come up with new ones. And, and the then we, we replace them with newer buzzwords. Yeah. With newer buzzwords. And then that cycle continues. It just keeps going. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is all the slides. I, I kind of had to, um, I, I do have multiple demos. Um, but before we, we jump into that, um, I actually want to um, kind of explain how Argo Rollouts does this. You already uh, posted this in the chat. I did. Um, or uh, did you or Johnny, someone? Thank you, Johnny. I did it because um, I didn't preload Johnny with the links, but he's doing oh, everything no, else, Johnny. so I can post things in the chat. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Awesome. Again, thank you, Johnny, for helping us out here. Um, we will. Um, so um, so there's a there's a few objects you need to know about Argo rollouts, right? So there's um, there's first, the first thing is what we call a rollout. Okay. So then, um, so let's look at the, uh, the blue-green rollout. So what is a rollout? Rollout is an object in Argo that replaces your deployment, meaning that you, you know the deployment, the Kubernetes deployment that you all know and love. Let's throw it out the window. Um, you don't need it anymore. They replaced it with something called a rollout. Um, but fret not, rollout has the exact same spec as a deployment. <laughs> um, so you can basically copy and paste, um, and it comes. Uh, the spec comes with. Uh, a new, um, something called a strategy, right? You're going to do a blue green deployment, which I'll, I'll go over, right? You're basically just switching, which I think, I think in, in past lives, uh, Hillary, I think this is what we did at our, yep. at, at, like at, at, at the, the previous former job. Former employer we TM. Were. Yeah. Former, yeah. Uh, dollar sign last job, um, yeah. <laughs> is I think we did, we did, we did a lot of blue green there. Um, um, but you know, blue green, you basically switch from one version to another. Um, and then, um, uh, it basically, you, you set, um, you know, the, the container, right. And then, um, and then which is the active service, right. Is, a um, there's a, there's two services, one pointing to your, your blue service and one point. And then this controller, um, points to whichever one it needs to. Um, on the back end, right? And then Canary is uh, something. Canary is something I, I think is really, really cool. Um, you have options like, um, um, you know, how um, you're doing a Canary rollout, and what are the steps to take, um, and then uh, which um, 
which analysis to run, right? And so analysis is another thing. Um, and, and I'll get deeper into like what yeah. what all these things mean. I, I do want to later. I, maybe mm -hmm. I'm maybe I'm I'm stepping on something you want to talk about later. But I, I actually really do want to talk about the difference between a blue green deployment and a canary deployment, real quick. Oh yeah yeah. Um, and and uh, you know I know our audience typically has as a wide variety of people, so probably most people in the audience know this. But for the folks that don't, who are the folks I always care about in these situations. Yes. The, the, the difference between a blue green deployment and a canary rollout. Um, there is some nuance to this. I'm not going to say this is like all encompassing, but typically speaking, a blue green deployment means you have a deployment that is blue, like characteristic in nature. We'll just say like literally it could be blue. Right. And another copy of almost the exact same deployment, but it has characteristical differences that are, and we're going to call it green. And a lot of times this encompasses some sort of business logic or user mm -hmm. experience flows or something that is substantially different, but still production ready across the two versions of deployment. And then what you want to take away from your blue green deployment is metrics or analysis on which has better outcomes, right? Do I get higher sales conversions for the same number mm -hmm. of, of hits off of the green deployment versus the blue deployment? Do my, do I have fewer, you know, customer, uh, support requests off of the blue deployment versus the green deployment, right? So you take all of these data points that you care about that are that are typically business driven and then make yep. decisions based off of either which UI becomes the primary UI or how to go back and combine the best aspects of both to create a new UI. And then you would probably add, you could even add blue, green, red. You could even add a third flow. Like you're not actually restricted yeah. to two here. I mean, maybe from the artist yeah, perspective that, you are, but like yeah. from a business logic perspective, you're not restricted to two. Um, it, it actually can, can be, can be, um, uh, more, um, and, um, there's, there's also like, so again, going into the nuance, um, there, there's ways to logically route traffic based on, uh, accessibility needs of the person viewing. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so there are certain, like, um, for folks who are, are using uh, text to speech um, in yep. order to, because they can't, because they're blind, right? There are actually special UIs that exist for a lot of places that actually strip out the images or have alt text for the images and so forth. So, and then that can be interpreted by certain programs. And if they can detect that they're being hit by a program like that, then that's the U, quote unquote UI that will get presented. So there's, there's a couple aspects, more nuance beyond that exists, but that's yep. really what a, a blue green is. And then going into what a canary is, is you have one version of your 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 system, one 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 deployment, one 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 end goal place that is production, but it's a slow, a progressive, slow rollout of that. So, mm -hmm. um, and th that's like the key key differences there. Yeah, and and a lot of times, and I think, um, and kind of just to go a little bit further, what you were explaining, Hillary, is like when we, what we did at um hashtag last job was a was a blue green but we we would actually keep both of them up at the same time right and we would yes. um and we would bleed people off meaning like we would run two versions at the same time and um um and the people who were on the old version would stay on that old version until their process was complete like let's say if you have a point of sale like you want you you want that money right you don't want to kick someone off you know yeah. while while they're trying to buy something um, yeah, they would new stay on that version. To, yeah. Yeah. New sessions yep. went to, you know, green and then blue stuck around until there were zero active sessions, at which point we retired yes. it. We, we would retire that. Yeah. Um, and that was all like, that was all by hand, right? Like, that's all like something like me and my team did. And it's like, there's stuff like this now where it's like, well, I just replaced you with a small shell script uh, sort of thing. Right. Um, and the, another um, aspect of Argo rollouts is um, is analysis, right? So we we go through uh, sort of something like Prometheus, and, and I'll show you like my specific um, um, version of, of these things. But um, you don't have to use Prometheus, right? You can use uh, something like Datadog, New Relic, Wavefront. Um, you can hit. There's one called Web, where you basically you you tell it hit this Web a you know back. So you can even write your own metrics. Um, um, analysis, right, for for your particular application, and look for a specific, um, uh, you know, success or failure, right, for for your for that aspect. But I think the um, the best way to to see it happen is the um, is I'm, I'm I'm more of a, a do 
right? I need to see it work um, before uh, examples. I just kind of want to show my my flex. If you if you Google GitOps dash examples, I'm the first hit. So I, I got that SEO um, down. I just kind of wanted to flex my SEO thing. Um, so let's, I'm going to go over first a really easy, um, a, uh, yeah, no, no big deal. Johnny just said on the, in the chat, no big deal. Just saying I'm first. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is, uh, while you do this, I'm going to get a link to your GitHub repo, um, into the chat yeah. for people to follow along. And then <clears throat> don't let me forget. They actually have Argo actually published their own rollout demo as well. Um, if we don't get have time to get to it today's stream, I want to make sure to put that into the chat. So somebody in chat, you're accountable for reminding me to post this so that you got, you guys can also practice on your own with that demo. Yep. Oops, I went the wrong screen here. Uh, so yeah, so I have a, uh, this is just a bare Kubernetes cluster. I'll show an OpenShift 1 version. Uh, so if I do a K get pods on Argo CD, right? I'm running Argo CD and I'm also running Argo rollouts right they're just two um controllers uh running um and then what i'm going to do is i am going to let's do a blue green deployment here so let me let me grab this uh k oops k apply all right so i have this blue green here coming up there it is uh yeah so progressing see you see it, it says right there progressing that's what it says on my shirt anyways i'm all i'm all excited um <laughs> there is my progressing um i have this app and much exactly like uh hillary said uh i have a uh this is an nginx route right like i have a blue a blue version um and then uh this is so this is um the the production route and this is the preview route Notice how they're, they're they're both blue because we're just running one version of this um, as well. So um, uh, so for this, let me go to Git. If we're doing things with GitOps, yeah, uh, rollouts. Uh, we are doing, yeah. So I'm doing blue green uh, overlays. Local host customization. Okay, so now this is blue, and now I'm gonna switch this to green. Right, we do the whole uh, GitOps thing, and then uh, just do green, and then I sign my commits. So should you? Uh, oops. Main. Oh, uh, cool. All right, and so this here. Um, if I refresh this, I think, yeah. So this starts a uh, a rollout, right? Um, and so here, notice how you have, now there's two replica sets, right? One pointing to one version and one pointing to the other version. This right here, it's still blue. Um, and then this here now turns to green. Now, now this is like the... This is the the preview route, right? Like you have two different routes, one pointing to the production, one pointing to the the back end. But the production is still blue. Um, and then uh, once, yeah, once I do that, notice how it says suspended here. So this here, um, Argo rollout controller says, um, oh Argo, by the way, I'm doing a progressive rollout. Don't sync anything. I got this. I got you. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm working. It, it, it's all integrated. Like I'm working along with you. Um, and then what you can do is, yeah, there we go. Let me just, just copy pasta. Uh, there's an Argo rollout plugin, um, for Kubernetes. Right. And this here shows, um, this is the version you're running revision one, right. That's a stable active one. Um, this image here, uh, is the preview one. Right, and that's kind of like it shows. These are the two images you're running: the blue, which is a stable version of what we saw, and then the preview is uh, the green. So that's the image we're running there. Um, and in order to, and the status is paused, right? Because Argo's like Argo's going to want to um, set this back to the desired state, but we're 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 in a rollout uh, situation here. So, um, and in order to promote this. Um, I have to run the uh, the promote command, 
right? And so once it's promoted, um, it switches, right? So it says like, this is your revision. Now, you know, before revision two was previewed, now it's, it's active. And now if I, now it's green, right? So now that, that, uh, that um, canary is green. Sorry, uh, the blue green, the newer version is green now. If I uh, refresh this, it says healthy, healthy and sync, awesome. Um, and it'll keep, uh, here it says delay 26 seconds. It keeps the, the older version up for a little bit. Um, so that way in case it needs to, to roll back, but then it, it's, it scales that down and now we're back here. So that's kind of like the blue green. So what we're, we're talking about blue green is basically you're just switching from one version to another. Um, and now like they match, right? The preview matches the, the production one here. So, um, canary is a little different. Right, so let's let's do um, the canary, which is I think my favorite one. Canary app, that's right. Uh, so the canary app is up here, and then that should roll out soon. Progressing, like it says in my shirt. I keep loving my shirt. I don't know why. Um, and I so, mean, I think my shirt yeah. is objectively better. That is, it is objectively better. That's right. Um, so here is the the Argo rollouts, right? The you know canary, and so what the canary is going to do is you're just going to release like a little bit at a time. Um, so you have, uh, let's do kind of the same same idea: canary overlays, optimization. Let's do, uh, I don't know, red. Oops. Uh, red. Watch that. Sweet. Um, and then let's refresh this. And what's going to happen here is that it's going to um, get, yeah, there we go right here. So um, what this does is that it spins up um, uh, three pods, right? And, and the reason it spins up three pods is because in the rollout, so let's go back here to Canary, uh, I believe, no, not the ingress, Canary. Yeah, so in the rollout here, let me make this a little bigger. Um, it says set weight to 30%, and then, um, uh, and then it'll pause it, right here. It'll pause indefinitely because I, I don't put it, any any seconds in there. Um, and so it'll show that your canary is running healthy, right? You're running, you know, 30%, which is three. Um, and if you go back to the, uh, the application, you see now like the little red guys are starting to appear, right? 30% of these um, are... Uh, uh, are 30% of these squares are red now instead of blue. And so um, and in order to promote this, where is my, uh, yeah, there we go, my notes here. Uh, you promote this to the, you just run the promote command. So once you run the promote command, you run the get, now you're running, uh, now you're adding three more, right? So you're adding, you're, you're, you're going to, I think this is 40% now. Um, and then here you'll see a little more, um, uh, a little more red coming through, right. Instead of the blue and you essentially just keep promoting it. Um, right. And then this will, this will add more. If you go here, it'll, you'll see less and less blue. You see less, um, more and more red. And then one more promotion, I think That's all it takes. Now you're a hundred percent red. Um, this is marked as healthy. If I go back here. Yeah. So it says, notice here, it says delay 18 seconds, right? So it keeps up the old version for a few seconds and it'll, it'll spin it down. But now, um, now I'm completely red, right? And so this is like, kind of like the, the, uh, a quick kind of introduction between, um, between blue green and canary. Um, and this is done all manually, right? So like this here. Um, shows like, you know, you, you don't necessarily uh, need to wait for like Prometheus or anything to come back. You can like do these steps manually. Um, 
but but yeah actually there's an interesting question um uh about like when when would you so like this is really i, I would i would bounce this question off, off of you hillary is that um like well, when when do you think you would use like blue green versus canary that's a very interesting question yeah um like one uh while i prepare for the next one for my next demo <laughs> yeah so I, I think we have to talk about desired outcomes right <clears throat> So when we talk about blue green, right, obviously it gets used between like there's a, just a transference between between two states or there is an ex like there might be a transference between two states, but there's like there could be a, a longer duration. Right. I feel like in a, in a canary, you have like a, a, a guaranteed plan towards an end state. But in a blue greens, I think that the, a key difference is duration. Right. And then and then d degree of split may be more 50 50 versus incremental. Right. So there's there's the, yeah. the actual mm -hmm. mechanism of, of how you do it. Um. So, um, let's talk about, let's talk about what kind of one, what kinds of, of things are happening and two, what kind of outcomes do we, we want? Right. Um, there's a really great, um, it's like, it's, it's a slide, uh, that, uh, one of the distinguished engineers on my team, uh, has, and it's like, okay, you, 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 you th think about your outcomes and yeah. then you like put that into your design and then you do the like execution and then that should get mapped back out to your outcomes. Right. Um, so we have to think about our outcomes and when we think about our outcomes, we also have to think about like, what is the, what is the nature of the beast we're working with? Right. So, um, I think it a little bit depends on what are you doing right now? What, what kind, what are you rolling out? Mm -hmm. Um, here's a really fantastic example. Um, in OpenShift 4.11, there is a uh, additional like networking stack OVN added, right? If you wanted to like migrate from the old networking onto OVN, that would be a really great thing to do in a canary way, where you do with a very mm -hmm. small subset of of your of your fleet. Um, to say that like i know for sure there's a migration path i'm pretty sure but like yes. don't quote me on that <laughs> but, like it's something of like that 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 big spectrum of a change right like that that large in nature of a change where like a complete ingress and ingress could be down if you get it wrong or yeah. um you know you could be seeing uh introducing latencies due to some of the natures of the networking changes or you need time for dns to start up great updating things like that um that's 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 really not a, a good opportunity for canary because like the degree to which it could be breaking might yeah. be all encompassing right so you really want just the smallest sample size you can get so that you still have overall good outcomes um for 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 customers but there's you do understand you're you're accepting a level of risk for not yeah. so great outcomes for customers or workloads or you know whatever whatever is using the thing um what what well, what I like also, I, I also equate it to like, um, like Twitter does this a lot, right? Like, like, like I'll see like people get certain features. And I'm like, how come I don't have that feature? I'm like, oh, they're like testing this out, right? Like, yeah. like you're also testing out like things where like you are not sure if you're going to implement it or not. Like you, you want a good sample size of like, is it useful? Um, are, are people, um, uh, are people liking this new feature that you're adding? um or or is you know it, is, is it worth is it worth you know rolling out does it like you said like does it does it degrade my other services like like yeah. you, you um, don't know so right regional is it actually ready for go time yeah. in every region right there yeah. are all kinds of like data, data sovereignty laws right there's a big topic right now you can't roll out everything to every region so a That's blue true. green deployment yeah. Um, might be one way that you handle that. Um, and so again, blue, blue green deployments, I feel like there's a longer duration during which the blue and the green states exist. And like we showed it in a very short term oh, yeah. duration, but you could have it permanent actually even. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you can have it like years. Like you, you don't, you don't like in, in, in my demos or like in all the demos you see, you see like seconds, right? You, you like you're seeing the, the progressive rolling out seconds. Some of these take like weeks, right? Like progressive rollouts doesn't have to happen like in seconds. Like it, it'll take weeks sometimes for it to even yeah. reach the end. Yeah, you need you need to you need to get data to analyze and getting data to analyze yeah. and make decisions off of does not take seconds. I'm sorry. Not I don't care yeah, how much your data seconds. volume is. <laughs> yes. 
10 seconds worth of data is still not enough. It doesn't matter how many like records in a database that is, right? It's it's not enough. Yeah. Um, so it's a little, it really is. Um, so it's over time. And I think with progressive rollouts, even with that, that notion of it can be over time, you're still looking at expected smaller windows of time than you might yes. be with a blue-green. Uh-huh. So that's one thing with a blue-green. Um, the other thing is, like we said, if you've got a very simple flow, like a point of sales flow, how we did it was, um, you know, at, at hashtag last job, um, right? It was just like, okay, so we are <laughs> put the new thing up and we're going to load balance all new sessions to that, right? And then mm-hmm. once we know we have no sessions on the old one, then that goes away. Like that's, 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 it's, it's a very straightforward flow and you, you're pretty much guaranteed a short duration of time yeah. for those, for those trailing sessions. Right. Um, so those are the types of things you're going to look for. You really need to be focusing on, on, on outcomes, on customer experience, on user experience, like who's using it, what are they doing? What are they going to, to, to see? And, you know, uh, Doing, doing, doing things um, either in a blue green way, which again, like business logic, can be more readily applied to blue greens. Uh, whereas progressive is pretty much like we have this one state we want, and it's more about yeah. rolling out that state as gently as possible while accepting risk, but but keeping that risk really mitigated as we go through the progress. I feel like in blue green, um, not that you can't slowly adjust your traffic over to the to the like the second state or, or, or what have you, like yeah. if you're doing blue green, you're really like, you're, you're really accepting that there's two desired states for n period of time. Um, and again, there's so much nuance to this, but I would Great. not do yeah. significant infrastructure changes in the cloud in a blue green way. I would try to do that in a progressive way, if at all possible. Yes. If at all possible. Correct. And yeah. I, again, it and also then, looks at yeah. scale. Right. Cause like also sometimes your scale, it just does not make sense. It's like, what are you going to do a progressive rollout on? Right. You don't have the scale to do, you know, uh, true. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't, I, I can't run to like 800 instances. Right. Because just my infrastructure doesn't just doesn't, it isn't built for that. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. Scale so you also need to look into well. scale will also inform how you do and use rollouts or <laughs> if you do them, maybe you just end up having to do a straight upgrade. Right. Uh, there's a higher yeah. level to that but there's still like plenty of cause for that to be the case. So what are you doing? What are your desired outcomes? What is your budget? Like all of those types of things are going to inform how, when, when you pick one over the other. But I think for me, when I think blue green versus a canary rollout, I'm thinking there's multiple desired states for end period of time. Mm-hmm. And that period of time is longer in a blue green scenario than it is in a progressive rollout. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And then, um, yeah, so I've actually so I've actually created a demo here, like for uh, on OpenShift, right? So for those, I put this in the chat here. Um, uh, so I, I did a lot with uh, that. That other demo was made was like very very manual, right? Um, for this specific one, I actually um, automated everything. So just before um, I go into what's installed, I'll, I'll tell you what I have um, a rollout, right? So this this is my canary rollout. Um, I am running kind of like the same thing, right? I want to set the weight to 30%. I'm going to pause for 20 seconds, set the weight for 40, pause for 10, that sort of thing. But as a side effect, I have something called an analysis. Right. So between each rollout, I want you to run this analysis um, and uh, the analysis template I'm calling success rate. Right. Um, start at step two. Right. So basically roll out, um, roll out 30 percent, wait for 20 seconds and then start anal- analyzing. Right. Because we want to analyze. We, we need some data. Right. Like it, we can't start analyzing right away because there's there's going to be no data. Um, so to, I, I wait until the second step, but between each one of these steps, they're going to run this analysis set template. So what does the analysis template look like? So in my case, the analysis template is, um, is basically querying the internal, uh, Prometheus for Istio. And I'm just running, this is just a standard, uh, Prometheus query, right? Whatever their, whatever their, whatever markup language they are for Prometheus, whatever it is. Prompt 
PromQL. That's what I was going to say. Johnny. Yeah. Thank you. It's PromQL. Yeah. There's GraphQL. Um, so this is this can is we just standardize on one guys? Pretty. That'd be great. Yeah. Anyway, just just yeah. What, what, yeah. What, whatever happened to regular QL? Anyways. Um. So basically, I'll, I'm I'm just looking for 500s, um, in this demo. But like, this just can be whatever you want, right? It's just here's basically you're saying here's a Prometheus endpoint. Run this query, and um, and basically I'm looking if it's not if it's if the error rate is more than 5%, this is kind of hard to read. So like um 95% success rate, anything lower than 95% um is considered an error, right? And I wait and I run this for every 10 seconds. So I run this query every 10 seconds uh during that pause uh step. Um if I go back to the rollouts uh configuration um I am uh, duh, duh, duh. where do I set the, oh, it might be back over there. One second. Uh, I think it fails. Uh, I think it's actually the analysis template. Sorry about that. Uh, failure limit. That's what I was looking for. So it needs to fit. So if it fails more than twice, it's, I consider it a failure. Right. And so, um, so instead of having to run those promote commands, like, you know, pause, check, promote process, like, it, it does it, it does all of this for me right and so um, what I have here let me look at my operators I have um, I'm running this internally so this is gonna take a while to load um, yeah I'm running uh, openshift get ops right which is um, which is Argo CD uh, and then uh, openshift service mesh which is istio and service mesh installs like all, all this other um, um, all these other, I guess it's a meta operator. It installs other operators, right? That it, that it uses to depend on. It's an operator um, for operators, yeah. It's an operator for operators, yes. And then here, if I do OC get pods, um, Argo rollouts. I'm running Argo rollouts on this cluster. Uh, just to let you know, um, um, Red Hat OpenShift GitOps will include Argo rollouts in the future. It'll, I think it's Dev Preview sometime next year. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know, Harriet may be getting mad at me. I, I'm not, I'm not promising that it will be available soon. I just, I just know that, it, that, that, that it will be supported at some point, uh, with Red Hat OpenShift GitOps. So, um, yeah, yeah. So early next year, it'll be dev preview. So yeah. right now I'm using the upstream version just for the purpose of this demo, but it will actually be included as part of the uh, OpenShift uh, GitOps. But I, I think that's an important note, right? Like, like let's, let's, let's put, it's not included now, but you can still use the upstream version with. OpenShift GitOps and it will work. Yes, yeah, and it'll work. Yeah, um, and uh, if I go to yeah the Argo CD here, Johnny points out it will yeah, work without changing anything out of box. Oh yeah, not, as out of box, I'm just using the upstream version. Let's go into my workloads here. So I have my Canary app, um, kind of the same as you know this Canary app is the exact same as the other application, um, and so uh, here. So let's go over the demo. So what I'm going to do is, what would be the best way to do this? Um, let me, uh, OCP, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, this, these are all part of my notes. So let's go here. Uh, oops. The, the importance of a readme or an SOP with copy paste, uh, Right. Yeah. <laughs> copy paste is the focus of the writing, right? And if I, I want, if I read your read me, I would like to be able to copy and paste and, and, and paste. Have, yeah. And have the thing that you, you were telling me I can have by, by downloading. Exactly. Well, yeah. 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 And, and I always like to, I always like to copy paste my own notes because that's how I know they're still good. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, so it, it's not necessarily, so for those who always watch me do my demos, I'm always copying and pasting from my notes only because I want to make sure they still work. Like it's like, you know, even if I know the commands from memory. Um, so let's do uh source. So I'll do while true, do that guy sleep uh, one done. Okay. Um, so this is the, the canary demo here. Um, I'm basically just watching the rollout, uh, take place here. I'm going to be switching back and forth. So normally with demos, um, I'd like to, you know, people show success. I actually want to, I want to show you a failure. Um, so that's VI uh, workloads, Canary. Oops, not that. Let's do customize. 
let's do yellow, right? Because we're doing canaries. Uh, Git add. It was all yellow for those Coldplay fans. Okay, push. Oops. I um I understand the reference, but for some reason my brain went to yellow card instead of. Oh, it's a yellow card. Okay, well maybe I should have done that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do, do, does. Oh, get pull. Which does does yellow card still produce music? Anybody I don't know? know? I I feel. Does anyone know? If if, if anyone <laughs> knows, yes. <laughs> uh oh, we need to do uh. This is what I get for not pulling my. There we go. Uh, okay. So get. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, highlight um, our hope nines, uh, which I really need to to actually learn this person's name because I never yeah. remember. Um, but yes, uh, we could also uh, there's also log QL. Log QL, yeah, that's also that. Uh, so yeah, so then that is pushed. Uh, let's get the routes here. Geo system, and there we go. Paste. I'm so uh, glad I talked you into doing this for me because I did have I did have a demo um, set up, but I did not have like mine was nowhere near yeah. as thorough as yours was. Like it yeah. was not going to be on an OpenShift cluster. Yeah, let's refresh this. Uh, mm -hmm. okay, so now it's out of sync. Now, uh, if I go back to this guy, so that they're spinning up pods now. Um, and as soon as this is ready, just start seeing some yellow here pretty soon. Yeah, so now I'm starting to see yellow. So now let's let's just now let's throw some errors, right? And so, um, these errors here, uh, their little red squares are sending back 500s. Um, if I go here, so notice like I'm waiting until the second step, right? Like it's, it's collecting data so far right here, uh, sending back the 500 errors. Um, the analysis template starts like at around the 40 second mark. I'm running this local, so I'm, I'm hearing my machine, um, spin up. Like it wants right to now. fly to the moon, right? Yeah. Yeah. It wants to fly to the moon, but let's, let's go here, here. Uh, it does. Yeah, it's progressing. Give me the errors. What's in the errors? One. I wonder why it's taking so long. Because we're doing a live demo. Yeah. That's always the reason, right? All demos break always. Oh, always, yeah. Except for the one for um, the universal object representation or reference. Oh, I yeah. What UR stands for. I think it's reference. UR. That demo did not UR, break. Yeah. Andrew has, uh, has magic demo skills, I think. I think it has to do with my... Do some live debugging. I love live debugging. All right, that should be okay. What's well, funny how it's not rolling out the, the next ones. I mean, is it your 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 prom QL check is is failing so it won't roll it out? No, it, it well it doesn't it's not it hasn't even ran the analysis template yet. Uh mm -hmm. So the rollouts, they're thinking up to date three, available 13. OK, that looks right. Looks right, too. Wondering if it might be Argo CD. Itself is wedged. It's waiting for the, yeah, well, it, it it's I think Argo CD is waiting for the, the health to come back for the rollout. And it's still like, there it goes, events. What does the event say? I can't see what the events say. Yeah, operation cannot be fulfilled. The object, the object has been is modified. modified. Oh, okay, that's what the error is. So let's scorch the earth. Uh, don't do this at home. OC 
delete pods uh, all um, timeout equals zero. Oh no, it's wait. Wait equals false. All right. Now it'll, now there's nothing. There it goes. Come on, Argo. Basically just did go. the equivalent of uh Yeah, Scorch Earth. Yeah, I'm gonna say the the, R, R, the RM dash RF star, right? Yeah. Like, it's essentially, everything here uh, gone. On no more. Uh let me see here. Let's see if that error is still there. My app is now frozen. There we go. Okay, so suspended. Awesome. Well, that's what I wanted to see. All right, so canary. I'm waiting for the analysis template to run. So the 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 time conscious person in me is like, yeah, we're down the last few minutes of the stream. We have to just scorch ours and, and start it over to get what we want out. Um, the SRE in me is like, no, we need to find the root cause. Don't well, it's fi yeah, we need to find out why. Yes. Um, what is the root cause? You said you're doing this local, so you're using OpenShift local for this one. Oh, I'm actually um I installed OpenShift on this bare metal server I have on oh, here. Oh, real fancy. Real fancy. Uh, OC get virtual services. I don't know where my virtual okay, canary. Uh, describe any. Yeah, no, no events. Okay, that looks fine. Let's synchronize. It's going to be something dumb. It's always something dumb. It's always something dumb, yeah. Oh. Huh. Luckily, I have a video I posted. Um... Yeah, let's uh, grab a link to that video. And let me also, did I already post, somebody keep me accountable, did I already post the Argo rollout? I did post the Argo rollouts example, or rather Johnny posted it because I handed it to him and he's the best. Um, so we Johnny also have awesome. their example to follow along with as well, which is, um, I went through the repost pretty good. Oh, there it is. This is me. Okay. I'll share this for those who want to see. And what's funny is that this is the exact same system that I used, exact same server for this demo. It's just now it's stuck. Uh, so let's do OC get events. You, uh, uh, you, you exceeded successful demo quota for the week. That's right. Yeah, I did all of them. Uh, the latest version try. Uh, this is probably because I let's do this. Is that it? I was wondering if that was it. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then do let's do sync. Force re synchronize. I know. I accept all. I wonder what this did. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. Argo. Rollouts. Be a way to like stop it. Uh, uh, is there an abort command? Oh, there it is. Slash cancel slash abort. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Argo rollout rollouts. Let's stop this. There we go. Uh, 
or roll out and then this guy here. Let's see, roll out, roll outs. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, like this. Abort, abort. Hey, successful abort, uh, which is very good time. Uh, as we are about to be top of the hour, and I, yep. uh, I have a staff meeting. Yes, we all. Well, we all have staff meetings. I do too, actually. Yeah. So yeah, so check out the video. We all actually see it, but it is um, you fix the problem without realizing it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> check out the video. That video shows this demo here, and then there's the uh, the repo here as well. I posted it on the chat. Yes. So okay. Wonderful. Great. So that brings us top of the hour. Uh, we will have to to sign off. Um, Christian will sit there and wonder what 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 happened, and eventually probably post an update on Twitter, going "Aha!" Probably oh, like five was, minutes yeah. from now, right? When 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 it like your brain has a chance to like cycle through and go, "Wait a yeah. minute, that's that was the thing, right?" Every time, I swear. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so uh, jo Johnny's gonna press the the end very quickly here. Uh, before that, just again reminder: we will not be streaming again this month. We will see you beginning of December. I don't remember the date. I'll post it to Twitter. I'll try to be better. I promise. Um, so like, subscribe, turn on alerts, follow us. And last but not least, choose your technical debt wisely. We'll see you in a little while. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye, everyone.